All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And well, today we're talking about how I broke my TrueNAS scale install. But I've had a bunch of problems getting my array back working. In case you don't know, it was an all SSD Proxmox with TrueNAS Core virtualized, and I was using it for video editing files. After I did an upgrade, Proxmox kind of wouldn't stay working on the internet unless I went into the terminal. So I decided to blow it up and just do a TrueNAS scale install. And that of course is where I've, everything went wrong. Taking a while to get TrueNAS fully up and it's still not working the way I need it to. So we're gonna talk about that as well. First, let's talk about one of the problems I've had. The array from my TrueNAS core install would not import. It just would not, for whatever reason, I didn't think it would, wasn't worried about it importing. Currently, TrueNAS is working, my array is working, but I've had a bunch of problems. All of my SATA SSDs were frozen, meaning I could not put them into a pool, anything like that. When I tried to use command line to unfreeze them, TrueNAS locked up, <laughs> like locked up hard. Not saying I did it right, I'm not saying I did it wrong, I'm saying it locked up on me. So I wound up having to pull all of the SSDs and plug them into a Windows machine and then use a software to remove everything from them, reformat them, put them back into the server, and now I have an array. Now I had another problem that was unrelated, but I also could not update my TrueNAS scale install. The updater would not work. When I tried to do it manually, it failed. That was a stupid thing that is, well, <laughs> stupid, but it's easy fix. Make sure when you set up TrueNAS scale, you set the BIOS time and date to GMT and it'll update fine. Current problem I'm having is transfer speeds. And from everything I've researched, I'm not going to be able to fix that. Uh, it dumps into RAM first, RAM caching, and then goes to the SSDs. And well, because I'm filming, because I'm home right now and filming my other channel, dumping that storage onto there, then waiting for it to transfer is not helping me in the least bit. In fact, transferring it to my Unraid server causes issues with uh, Premiere Pro. So I'm back to editing my footage directly off my PC and then transferring over. So unfortunately also my remote server is broken. <laughs> so I've been having way, way, way too much fun with this server. So I figured I'd give you an update. It's been a minute since I've done a video on this channel because of everything else going on. So that's the update on the TrueNAS scale install. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now, but I may be going back to core. We'll see. So I hope you enjoyed my pain. Thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.